Are you guys professional chefs? It seems like it. Yep. All right, so we've mixed together our other ingredients. What happens next, guys? So we're going to put the banana into here okay. and mix it up. All right, let's do it. So next is kind of the fun part. You can add in different ingredients like chocolate chips or sprinkles like we did in this case to be over there. All right, so let's add those into our mix. You chose, I said into the mix. <laughs> So this is what the final product looks like right there. And while I cook this in the microwave for 90 seconds, I'm gonna show you what really goes on during a stay at home order. So we had some fun there, and our banana bread muffin in a mug is done. How does it taste, guys? Pretty good. Pretty good? Mm -hmm. All right, that's pretty easy to do. Should we say goodnight? We want to thank our teachers. Very much say hi to all of our friends and family. Yeah, we're missing them a lot, right? Mm -hmm. Stay healthy, everybody. Have a great night. Bye. Welcome to our kitchen. So happy to have you with us tonight. I'm Mike Cronin, joined by my better half, Lauren, and I'm especially excited to have her with us tonight because she's actually a frontline worker amidst this crisis. She uh, has been testing and treating patients for COVID-19 as a nurse practitioner. Hi. And also we need a little extra help in the kitchen. That's why we have our baby Byron with us, our fur baby, and he's gonna be a great assist, I think, tonight. He's a very good boy. So, we want to give you guys something easy and quick to make, and that's what we're doing. So, we're making cheesy spinach dip. We figure people can't go out to restaurants right now, and everybody likes to go out and get apps. So, uh, this is a way for you to have an app at home with your family. And something we've all been missing a lot of, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's get right <laughs> into it. What are we doing? So, it's going to be, basically, you just mix everything together, all these ingredients. Um, it's super easy. So it's gonna be 10 ounces of spinach. Chopped spinach, right? Chopped spinach. Right. A half a cup of sour cream. And I use um, this instead of sour cream. It's Siggy's, it's yogurt. So it's a little bit of a healthier alternative. Well, what are we doing that for? Um, to be healthier. <laughs> so this is mayonnaise. So again, instead of mayonnaise, you can use mayonnaise if you want, but instead of mayonnaise, I use um, this. It's kind of a healthier alternative. It's vegan mayonnaise. Vegan mayonnaise? It tastes the same. It sounds disgusting. And then we're going to do... Let me do this. I feel like I'm not doing anything yeah, at all. This is cheese. So that's um, shredded mozzarella. Sorry, I'm reading ingredients. <laughs> <laughs> Mozzarella, this is one and a half cup of mozzarella. And then it's gonna be some scallions. One fourth cup scallions, chopped. Parmesan cheese, one third cup Parmesan cheese. That's good stuff, I like that. And then one clove of garlic, but if you're Italian, you can do two. So two for us. So two. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just mix it all together. Do you want me to help? You can mix it if you yeah, want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me do it. <laughs> so you just put everything into a little pan that you use for dip. Doesn't have to be anything fancy. And then you're going to bake it at 375 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. And don't leave the camera in the oven. Don't do that. And it's ready. Good stuff. And look who made his way back into the kitchen. Hey, Byron. You smelled something delicious? Yes, you did. <laughs> and that's it. It's quick, it's easy, and frankly, I could eat this whole dish by myself. He could. <laughs> so you could have it with chips, carrots, celery, or whatever you want. What's that for? To be healthier. I think I'll take the chips. Thank you very much. Okay. Thanks for watching. Stay home and stay safe out there. Enjoy.